With the release of Unreal Engine 5.6, there's been quite a lot of changes. Today we're going to talk about the performance difference between 5.5 and 5.6. As you can see behind me, I've got some tests running in the background. Now these are being done inside of my game. Originally I had planned to do them inside of an Unreal sample or a PCG project, um, but unfortunately the PCG projects were all broken uh, due to the massive sweeping changes they've done to PCG. I it might take me some time to uh, really ring out any changes that need to happen, uh, but it shouldn't be a problem if I need to test further down the line, but I want to get a good idea today what it actually looks like with the release happening today. So uh, to jump into it, I've got our settings set to full cinematic, um, so we should see the maximum possible difference here. Um, now, when you're in cinematic in Unreal Engine, that has none of the fixes that they do to actually improve performance. So be aware that this is going to be very not performant compared to, uh, for example, even just setting it to high. Uh, there's that big of a jump in terms of the uh, different things that they do to actually improve your performance. Now, uh, I am running this on a four-year-old computer with six-year-old hardware. Um, it is a 2080 Super, which I, I believe that's six years old at this point, with only four gigabytes of VRAM, so it will not be, you know, peak efficiency, uh, but it should be good enough to give us an idea of the performance imp increase we're going to see. So before, um, in 5.5, I was seeing in PIE an average of 19.7 milliseconds or 50.5 frames per second. And in standalone, I was seeing an average of 10.8 milliseconds and 96.5 frames per second. Now in 5.6, I'm seeing 16.6 .6 milliseconds and 58.8 frames per second in PIE. And in standalone, I am seeing 10.3 uh, milliseconds and 102 frames per second. That difference um, comes out to a calculated difference of roughly about 5% millisecond difference in standalone and 18% millisecond difference in PIE, equating to a 5.5 frames per second in standalone and 15% frames per second in PIE. Now, the reason for the difference there is likely up to um, fluctuation and things like that. There are not just, in my project, there's not just, you know, um, GPU things, there's also AI things going on and things like that. I tried to keep them as consistent as possible. As you can see in the footage above, I tried to keep them identical. Now, of course, to some extent, I can't perfectly do that um, because, you know, it is in a game. Um, but for the most part, they, the scenes should have the exact same amount of actors going on, the same AI going on. Um, so for the most part, it should play about the same. But yeah, um, so that's it for today. Um, I'll leave the footage playing in the background and let it finish out because it's not very long. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them down below. But otherwise, good luck and good hunting.